Coming up on Hoosier Sports Night, men's tennis took a weekend trip up north to play Michigan and Michigan State. We'll give you the recap. And men's golf hosted the Hoosier Collegiate this weekend. We'll give you the rundown from the event. This is Hoosier Sports Night. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to Hoosier Sports Night. I'm Griffin Healy. And I'm Haley Adams. Well, Haley, Monday was known for having the eclipse, the first one since 2017. What did you do for the big day? I watched the eclipse. Oh, well, fun. That doesn't feel like a swing and a miss. Well, IU Baseball hit it out of the park this weekend. Indiana Baseball ended a streak this weekend. They were the first Big Ten team to win a series at Maryland since 2019. The Hoosiers came out of the gate strong, winning on both Friday and Saturday, scoring 29 runs while allowing only six through the first two games of plays to win the series. This was highlighted by the prolific performance of sophomore pitcher Connor Foley on Saturday, who threw six scoreless innings. Indiana was close to a sweep on Sunday. However, a blown 5-2 lead and a game-winning RBI single from the Terrapins stopped the brooms from breaking out, as Indiana would walk away with a 3-3 record in the conference play. The Hoosiers host Penn State this weekend at Bart Kaufman Field for a weekend series. Indiana men's tennis traveled up north to face Michigan and Michigan State this past weekend. Our Caleb Robbins has the recap. The IU men's tennis team traveled up north to take on Big Ten rivals Michigan and Michigan State this weekend. On Friday, IU started off hot, winning the doubles point. However, that would be the last point that they would win with Michigan sweeping the singles competition. At the end of the day, you know, we played some different guys, tight doubles point. Um, again, Michigan State's, you know, not an easy team to beat on the road. So um, we just got to find a way to, uh, you know, learn from what we did this weekend, but at the same time, you know, use it as motivation uh, going into the next couple weeks, um, especially next week at home, and try to finish up the year strong for us. The intensity was there for every Hoosier, particularly freshman Facundo Yunus, who took a top-ranked Michigan State at number one singles to a three-set match. Facundo will continue to improve, and the future is bright for the freshman. Yeah, I know he's been great for us. And he's, he's played high in the lineup uh, so early in his career, and you know he, he's never out of the match. Every single match he's there and, and battling, and the other guy has to beat him. And again today, you know, it was 6-4 in the third, but I really feel like he's going to get over that hump um, the next few matches, and I'm hoping that uh, sooner rather than later because, you know, he's earned it and he deserves to, to get some of these wins for sure. With the season wrapping up, every match is crucial. And although these matches may have not resulted in wins, it may be important later on. The Hoosiers will fall to 2-2 two two in Big Ten competition and 13-7 and overall. They will head back to Bloomington, Indiana to face the Butler Bulldogs and in state rival on Wednesday, April 10th. For IUS TV Sports, I'm Caleb Robbins. Indiana softball had another weekend series in Michigan, but this time against the Spartans. On Friday, the first game of the series started slow with a score of 1-1 one one heading into the eighth inning until junior Sarah Stone was able to hit a three-run home run, putting Indiana in the lead that would allow them to propel into the win of this game at 6-2. The next day, the Hoosiers were able to pull away early with a 4-0 lead by the second inning. The Hoosiers had multiple hits this game, including sophomore Avery Parker, hitting a home run. The Hoosiers picked up another win of a score of 12-4. On Sunday, junior Brianna Copeland threw a complete game and a career high of 12 strikeouts. Indiana was able to walk away with a score of 7-2 in their third win of the series. The Hoosiers will be back in Andy Moore Field starting this Friday for another weekend series against Minnesota. Coming up after the break, we crown this week's Hoosier Highlight Athlete of the Week. And water polo traveled out west for a matchup against the top 10 team. We'll give you the scoop. This is Hoosier Sports Night. You're watching IU Student Television. Welcome back to Hoosier Sports Night. Now joining us in the studio for this week's Hoosier Highlight is our very own Zeke Shapiro. Zeke? Thanks guys. This week's Hoosier Highlight has been lighting it up on the diamond. Tyler Cerny, an infielder from Greenwood, Indiana, has been a nightmare for opposing pitchers this season. The reigning Big Ten Player of the Week leads the Hoosiers in RBIs, hits, and doubles, while also having the second best average on the team at a stunning mark of 350. 
Cerny and the Hoosiers have won five of their last seven games, which included taking two out of three games from Maryland in College Park. It was the first time the Hoosiers had taken a series from the Terrapins away from home since 2019. In the series, Cerny went five for 14 with two RBIs and three doubles. The Hoosiers will look to continue their solid play as they host Penn State this weekend. That's it for this week's Hoosier Highlight Athlete of the Week. Now back to you guys at the desk. The number 14 IU water polo team fell to number 10 Arizona State this past Saturday. The first quarter ended in a tie 2-2 going back and forth all the way to the final buzzer. Zoe Crouch led the game with four goals and sophomore goalie Jasmine Higgs had seven saves. The Hoosiers went into the fourth quarter only down by one and were able to stay within one point of the Sun Devils for almost the entirety of the game. Indiana could not finish though, dropping the game 10-9. Indiana will head out west again this weekend to take on San Jose State and Stanford this weekend. This past weekend, Indiana men's golf competed at home in the Hoosier Collegiate. Our Joe Elms has the recap. IU men's golf competed at home this weekend at the Hoosier Collegiate Invitational on this windy weekend. The Hoosiers ultimately came out on top with a score of 867, while Noah Gillard and Cole Starnes had great individual performances today, shooting 213 and 215 respectively. Uh, we played outstanding. It was a difficult uh, day, the wind blowing, still blowing, the golf course playing as difficult as it could play. So I thought we overcame a lot of adversity, uh, never gave up grind it out uh, a nice win. Indiana will look to keep their momentum going as they tr travel to Columbus, Ohio for the Robert Kepler Invitational at Ohio State University on April 19th through the 21st. Men's golf continues to prepare for the Robert Kepler Invitational at Ohio State on April 19th. This weekend, IU women's tennis traveled to College Park, Maryland to face the Maryland Terrapins. The Hoosiers fell late on Sunday 6-1 to, to the Terps. However, freshman Magdalena Sverzinska came through with the win, taking her singles 6-1, uh, 6-4 six six respectively. Indiana is now 0-8 in conference play and 0-7 and on the road. The Hoosiers will be back on the road this week as they head up to Champaign, Illinois to take on the Illini on Friday at 4 p.m. Follow along with our Haley Adams for live updates on the match. Joining us for this week's Candy Stripe Calendar Report is Sam Heisner. Sam? Thanks, y'all. For this week's Candy Stripe Calendar, it is packed with a multitude of sports. Let's start it off first with track and field. The track and field team is splitting into three separate groups this weekend, with some traveling to California for the Bryan Invitational, while others are going to Florida to race the University of Florida Gators. The last group travels to the Beach Invitational in Long Beach, California. Now on to the women's tennis team. They have two matches this weekend against both Illinois and Northwestern. For the men's tennis team, they have two home matches this weekend against Nebraska and Wisconsin. The baseball team faces Penn State in a series here in Bloomington this weekend as well. Softball will also be at home at Andy Moore for three straight games in a series against Minnesota. That's all for this weekend's Candy Stripe calendar. Back to you guys at the desk. Thanks, Sam. And that's our show for the week. Thank you so much for tuning in. And be sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter at IUSTV Sports to keep up with all the latest in IU athletics. For our production crew behind us, I'm Haley Adams. And I'm Griffin Healy. We'll see you next week.